afternoon, Aggie fans. After a three-game slump, the volleyball team bounced back in winning fashion. I'm Michael Paget. And I'm Jacob Russell. The men's golf team posted another top 10 finish, and women's tennis turned some heads at regionals. These stories and more are coming up next when we go in the huddle. Five. Seniors Michael Lee and Brett Lavelle led the way with scores of 147 and 148, respectively. The team heads to Indianapolis today to compete in the National Preview Tournament, one of two tournaments left on their schedule. After starting the season on a winning note, the women's tennis team took that momentum into the ITA Regionals in Topeka, Kansas. The team played well in both singles and doubles matches. Freshman Amanda Moberg advanced to the semifinals but lost in straight sets. Senior Carolina Mueller and freshman Ellie Scholes won their first round matches but did not advance past the second round. In doubles, Moberg and Scholes made it to the semifinal round and lost in straight sets. Head coach James Helvey said that he was positive that from here on out, the team will only improve. The team closes out the fall season at the Lone Star Conference Individual Championships on October 9th through 10th. Tennis player Amanda Moberg was named Aggie of the Week last week. A native of Sweden, Moberg has already made an impact on the women's tennis team. She won her first four collegiate matches in straight sets and advanced to the semifinals in both singles and doubles play at the ITA Regionals in Topeka, Kansas. In the huddle congratulates Amanda Moberg on being named Aggie of the Week. Cambridge Athletic Department officially unveiled the Aggie Army last week. The Aggie Army is a student spirit group that will cheer and support all Aggie sports teams throughout the year. Enlisting in the Aggie Army has its benefits. Students who become part of the Aggie Army will get the chance to win a Blu-ray DVD player and other prizes. It's not too late to join the Aggie Army. Students can enlist by going to the Aggie Army table at any home game and submit their name and their school ID number. The women's volleyball team went into last Saturday's match against Southeastern Oklahoma State on a three-match losing streak. Losing twice to Arkansas Fort Smith and to East Central, the team defeated Southeastern in four sets. The win marked their first Lone Star Conference victory this season. Sophomore outside hitter Nikki Abbott had a monster game offensively with 26 kills, four off the school record. Senior middle blocker Sidney Stewart played an all-around solid game by posting 10 kills and three blocks in the match. The team finishes their three-match homestand tonight against Wayland Baptist. The match starts at 7 p.m. in the Aggie Gym. Cameron's volleyball team started last season 9-5 before heading into conference play. They ended the season 14-13 after posting a 5-8 conference record. Heading into the bulk of their conference schedule, the team looks to use last season's conference woes and this season's early success as determination to get into the playoffs. The Cameron volleyball team begins their first full week of Lone Star Conference play after an impressive start to the season. The Aggies were able to come through their preseason tournaments with a winning record. Over the past couple of weeks, head coach Breanne Smedley has seen the level of play come up in her girls as they gel into more of a team. Is having everyone on the court contribute. We haven't really just relied on one player. Definitely at the beginning of the year, we had multiple players having you know 10 plus kills and multiple players having a lot of digs for us and aces. And so it's really been a team effort. However, the team's success has come at a cost. Melissa Atkins, who is having a career year, is out with a knee injury. The injury has caused many players to try new positions on the fly. It can be a little nerve-wracking at times, especially when, you know, matches are on the line and everything. And I think we're kind of getting back calm and getting to play as a team again. Times of trial have forced players to step into an assortment of leadership roles. You know, we have the more quiet ones that just get the job done. We have very loud ones who vocally, you know, express what they're wanting from their teammates and everything. So it's nice to have the wide variety, and everyone definitely has a role on the team in their sort of leadership. The Aggies are looking for repeated success throughout conference play and still have their goals of regional and national tournaments alive at the end of the season. With CU TV News, I'm Jacob Russell. Today we have head coach Tom Webb of women's basketball with us. Coach, thanks for joining us today. No problem. 
So you had Amber Schroer, your top rebounder last year, is now playing volleyball this year. What was that transition like for you and the team? Well, you know, Amber's a good kid. We're excited for her. Uh, I think she'll be a good addition for the volleyball team, and she has been. She's really uh, the biggest thing is her skill set, just getting better every day for, for volleyball. Basketball-wise, it hurts us inside. Uh, she's, she was certainly a great defender, good rebounder, and I think it, it's always nice to have a kid returning inside uh, that's played a year and experienced it. So it'll be, it'll be a hard transition, but our young kids hopefully have to step up and, and get better. Now you talk about the young kids. You have a lot of recruits coming in. You only have four returning players, a brand new team. What's been the focus this offseason? Um, you know, we have 11 new freshmen, or we have seven new freshmen, 11 new players, like you said. And uh, the biggest thing I think every day is we just want to teach skills. We're, we're talented, but we're still young and still that uh, we brought four junior college or Division One transfer kids in, and they'll bring experience, which is something that you need. So every day we just want to get a little bit better. Any household names of the new recruits, old recruits that people might want to get used to when they go to the games? Uh, you know, Tara Tremaine. She's a returner. She's a kid who uh, scored a lot for us last year. She's a leading two guard. Uh, but we'll have a lot of fun names, and there's a kid, Love Rattler, there's a kid that will be new. I'm sure everyone will love to say love all day long, and uh, there's some kids inside that will be interesting too. Charmaine uh, Hoosier, Charmaine Hoosier is a kid that's from uh, Arlington, and there will be some kids that will be interesting. You have, also have a new grad assistant, uh, Tiffany Williams. She played basketball for Cameron, and now she's coming on as a grad assistant. What has she been able to bring to the table? Well, you know, Tiffany is great. Number one, she's a household name like you talked about a little bit before. Uh, she knows a lot of people in the community. She's a hardworking kid, an intelligent kid. Uh, the biggest thing for her, I think, will be getting her feet wet. You know, even on the floor, it's fun for her to see different terminology, different style, different systems. So hopefully she'll bring experience, and she's a tough player. Hopefully she brings some toughness. Last, you were the first coach to blog on the CU website now. What has blogging been like this year, and what's the goals heading into this blogging season? Well, you know, I, the blogging's been interesting. I don't know if uh, how many people read it. You'll get emails once in a while, somebody will read it. Last year was, I guess, easy and hard at the same time because of our season, so it's easy to blog about. Uh, so far, the preseason's been interesting, so we've got to blog about our new kids. Uh, I, it's a new age thing, I guess, so we'll see how blogging goes, and uh, I guess everyone will be reading it, hopefully. Well, Coach, we appreciate you for coming. Uh, in the huddle, wishes you and the team a successful season. Well, thank you. Let's take a look at what's happening in Cameron Sports this week. The volleyball team faces Wayland Baptist at home tonight at 7. After that, most of the teams head on the road to compete in tournaments across the country. The women's golf team starts its season today at the West Texas A&M Buffalo Stampede. Men's tennis travel to Abilene on Friday for the ITA Regionals. Cross country heads to Stillwater to race in the OSU Cowboy Jamboree on Saturday. Sounds like we have a jam-packed week for Cameron Sports. I can't wait. It's been a slow start. Um, just in case for anyone who didn't know, Aggie Army shirts, these are what they look like. I know we're both part of that army. Definitely, it's Proud gonna be fans. it's gonna be a fun year. It's kind of like the Cameron Crazies feel, except for Cameron University now. Oh, definitely. And if anyone out there hasn't had time to come support any of our athletic teams, you guys are missing out. There's there's a level of, of play and athleticism here on this campus that there hasn't been in a long time. Right, it's a new feel, new atmosphere for Cameron sports. Volleyball is gonna be tough now. Melissa acting out. Um, She's out. Nikki Abbott's been stepping up, but they're heading to conference play without one of their top offensive players. Man, you know, and you really get to see what a team's made of when they're thrust into, into that kind of competition with a little bit of adversity. Great coach uh, at the top of the program. I think that filters down through the players. I think they'll be just fine. They'll, they'll be able to fight through. I mean, it's going to be hard, but they're, they're fighters. They don't give up. Think we're going to the playoffs this year? Definitely. All Always. Right. We're making playoffs in every sport. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap for another episode of In the Huddle. To view this episode and other CU TV programs, log on to YouTube.com and type in CU Internet TV with no spaces. There you can watch episodes of Top of the Hour and This Week in SGA. To keep up with the latest updates in Cameron sports, go to goaggies.cameron.edu. You'll find news updates, stats, and blogs posted by Athletic Director Jim Jackson and the other head coaches. For feature sports stories, pick up a copy of the Cameron Collegian, available on newsstands every Monday. Thank you to Sports Information Director Craig Martin and the CU TV crew for their help in producing In the Huddle. For CU TV, I'm Jacob Russell. And I'm Michael Faget. We'll see you in the huddle.